today I'm talking about a Toyota with the P0011 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Toyota P0011 code? Well, it's the intake A camshaft timing over advanced bank one. And what does this mean? Well, basically the onboard computer is reading some issues with the timing and that it's too far advanced. And so there's something wrong inside the circuits that control this and have to be examined to know what it is. And so some of the common problems would be a low engine oil, a failed variable valve timing solenoid, could be loose wiring, could be a camshaft position sensor. So I'm gonna go through some of the things that could cause it and how you go about fixing it. And so the first thing to do is to be go check the oil. Be sure that the oil level is good and that it's not really super dirty. Uh, if it hasn't been changed in a long time, it might be time to change the oil because that could cause problems. But be sure that the oil level is at least good. And the reason for this is, is because there's a variable valve timing solenoid and this helps adjust the cams. It opens them up more at certain speeds and so it helps adjust the timing and things like this at certain times and if it becomes dirty or clogged up then it can cause some issues or if there's no oil it could cause issues so low oil or dirty oil can cause problems with this sometimes if the oil is dirty you could clog it up and even if you change the oil you'll still have to replace it or it could have just failed so this is the number one reason for checking the oil and so if the oil looks good and there's no issues there and it, and it looks clean and all that, the variable valve timing is going to be need to be checked out. It's a small solenoid that plugs straight into the engine. They'll have a harness going to it. Look at the harness because bad wiring can cause the same issues as a bad solenoid. So you want to check out the wiring. It may need to be replaced. Some people will go and replace it. Some people will clean it up however you want to do it. I'll jump over on Amazon and give you an idea how much they cost. And they're not high cost items or nothing. They're around $28 to $30 here. So they're not super high cost items or nothing and with this one is pointing to the intake so it'll be the one on the left commonly you have to google it for your particular engine since there can be some differences so if you do that it doesn't solve the problem the next thing to check is going to be the cam sensor and so you have to locate this it'll be it'll be the intake cam sensor it'll be really close to the variable valve timing also check the wiring again the wiring can cause issues so you want to check out that wiring and be sure there's nothing wrong with the wirings and these cam sensors are also low cost parts i'll jump over on amazon again give you an idea how much they cost. They look like they're running around $20, $30, $40. So they're not super high cost of parts either. But basically at this point, it'd be time to change out the camshaft position sensor and see if the air cleared. So what do you do if you have a Toyota with the P0011 code? Well, first thing to do, check the oil. Be sure the oil's good. Be sure there's no issue there. Be sure it's not really super dirty or anything like this. And if that all looks good, then go check the variable valve timing solenoid and be sure it's good. It could get clogged up with from bad dirty oil or it could just fail sometime. There's ways you could test it using voltage. So if you want to check out some videos on that, you could go and test it and see if it's a problem. And so if you test that, you know that's good or you replace it so you know it's good. Then go ahead and look at the cam position sensor and it'll be the intake cam position sensor. So check it out. There's Again, there's ways you could test it or you could just replace it. They're low cost parts. So most people just go ahead and replace them. But however you want to do it. And if that doesn't solve the problem, be sure to check out all the wiring. There might be an issue in the wiring. Any bad open, short, anything like this, a blowing fuse, something along these lines can cause the same issues as a bad solenoid or a bad camshaft position sensor. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a real quick brief overview of how you go about fixing a Toyota with the P0011 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like. Please click subscribe and have a good day.